We have a person in town who uh, has dubbed himself the hero of Gettysburg. His name is John Burns. He was a 69-year-old, cantankerous, lovable old man. Now, when the Confederate Army came, they came the first. It was Henry Heath's division. Pegram was in front of him with the artillery. And Heath's division was here on the morning of July 1. And he grabbed his old flintlock from the War of 1812, put on his Sunday best with his big top hat. And he went out to the uh, McPherson's Ridge, and he reported to the 150th Pennsylvania. And he said, no, none of these Confederate men are going to take my town. They told him to go over and fight with the, uh, in the woods, it's safer. Well, in the woods, you've got the Wisconsin, you've got the uh, Iron Brigade, the 2nd, 6th, 7th Wisconsin, the 19th Indiana, 24th Michigan, the creme de la creme, the black hats. They were the best the Army had to offer, respectfully. And he gets sworn into the 7th Wisconsin. He fights all day. And what happened was he gets wounded. And uh, when the Confederate Army overran his position, they see this old man laying there. And they said, hey, old man, what are you doing here? He said, I was looking for my wife's cow, and you guys shot me. Well, they apologized to him because Lee said, don't hurt the civilians. And they arranged to get him back into town. Well, after the Battle of Gettysburg, when Lincoln came to visit, Lincoln wanted to meet this man. And so he sends his entourage over, and uh, he basically said, the President of the United States would like to meet you. What's unique about our friend John Burns is that after the Battle of Gettysburg, he would get his picture taken. Most of you have business cards. You, back then, they called cards to visit. So you don't get your picture taken, you put it on a card, and you would leave it. Well, he would sell those cards, and he was your first town and battlefield guide because he would walk people around and charge them a fee. And if you wanted to know about the battle, even if you were his neighbor, he charged you. So imagine that when Lincoln sent his entourage over, that one of the questions I'm sure he said was, it's going to cost you. And then they finally convinced him to come to uh, visit Lincoln. Lincoln liked him so much that when he actually went back to Washington, he ordered the War Department, and a resolution was sponsored in the Senate, to actually give him a military pension retroactively to July 1 of 1863 of $8 a month. And I suggest to the folks that come visit here that he's sworn into the Army, he gets a military pension, that makes him the oldest active duty soldier to fight here at the Battle of Gettysburg.